Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today, we're talking about nitric oxide in plants, its synthesis, reactions, and functions. Don't forget to subscribe and like us to watch more videos like this. What is plant nitric oxide? In plants, nitric oxide serves as a highly versatile signaling molecule with a plethora of vital roles. Its discovery in plants came much later than in animals. Understanding its synthesis, reactions, and functions has opened up new avenues of research in plant physiology and development. Today's discussion is on nitric oxide synthesis, regulation of nitric oxide synthesis, reactions of nitric oxide, functions of nitric oxide in plants. Let's get to know about nitric oxide synthesis in plants now. Nitric oxide synthesis in plants involves a combination of enzymatic and non-enzymatic pathways, which are precisely regulated to facilitate diverse physiological processes. These pathways are also categorized as oxidative and reductive pathways. Nitric oxide synthesis in plants is closely linked to nitrogen metabolism and occurs in various cellular compartments, contributing to a range of physiological processes. Understanding the intricacies of these pathways is critical for deciphering the roles of nitric oxide in plant growth, development, and responses to environmental challenges, contributing to advancements in plant biology and agriculture. Let's talk about enzymatic synthesis pathways first. First one is nitrate reductase pathway. One of the primary pathways for nitric oxide synthesis in plants involves the enzyme nitrate reductase. Nitrate reductase is a key enzyme involved in nitrogen assimilation, where it converts nitrate absorbed from the soil into nitrite. Nitrite is then further reduced to nitric oxide in a reaction catalyzed by the enzyme nitrite reductase. This pathway primarily operates in the cytosol and plastids of plant cells. Second enzymatic pathway is nitric oxide synthase-like enzymes. While plants lack true nitric oxide synthase enzymes found in animals, they possess a family of enzymes called nitric oxide synthase-like enzymes. These nitric oxide synthase-like enzymes are structurally similar to animal nitric oxide synthase enzymes, but differ in their catalytic activity. Nitric oxide synthase-like enzymes can use L-arginine, a common substrate for nitric oxide synthase enzymes, to produce nitric oxide and citrulline. However, the role of NOSLs in nitric oxide synthesis in plants is not yet fully elucidated. The second major category of nitric oxide synthesis is non-enzymatic synthesis pathways. The first subcategory is nitrite-dependent non-enzymatic pathway. In addition to the enzymatic pathways, nitric oxide can be generated non-enzymatically through reactions involving nitrite and various reducing agents, such as ascorbic acid or vitamin C or glutathione. This nitrite-dependent non-enzymatic pathway can operate in different subcellular compartments, including the cytosol, mitochondria, and chloroplasts. The second subcategory is nitrate-dependent non-enzymatic pathway. Apart from nitrite, nitrate can also contribute to the non-enzymatic synthesis of nitric oxide in plants. Under low oxygen or hypoxic conditions, nitrate can undergo a series of chemical reactions leading to the formation of nitric oxide. All reactions that synthesize nitric oxide, we described above, occurs through reductive mechanism or oxidative mechanism. So, some people explain these reactions as oxidative and reductive pathways as well. Lau et al. in 2021 have used this figure to summarize these pathways. Nitric oxide reductive synthesis mechanism mostly occurs in plasma membrane, chloroplasts, apoplast, peroxisomes, cytoplasm, and mitochondria through reduction of nitrate or nitrite by nitrate reductase. Nitric oxide production through nitrate substrate is reduced by cytosolic nitrate reductase and plasma membrane-bound nitrate reductase, whereas nitric oxide production through nitrite substrate is reduced by plasma membrane-bound nitrite. Nitric oxide reductase, mitochondrial electron transfer chain-dependent enzymatic nitrite, nitric oxide reductase, 
and peroxisomal xanthine oxidoreductase. In an acidic environment, nitrite produces nitric oxide through several reversible reactions. Polyamines induce nitric oxide production through reductive and oxidative mechanisms. Oxidation of aminated molecules, such as L-arginine, by the L-arginine-dependent nitric oxide synthase-like enzyme or by using polyamines, and hydroxylamine is the second category. Oxidation of L-arginine takes place in chloroplasts and leaf peroxisomes. In chloroplasts, the oxidation of L-arginine requires nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate and calcium ions, whereas in leaf peroxisomes, the oxidation of L-arginine requires flavin mononucleotide, flavin adenine dinucleotide, calmodulin, and calcium ions. Hydroxylamine also acts as a substrate in the oxidative mechanism. However, its pathway in nitric oxide production remains unclear. Nitric oxide synthase, like enzyme, is also involved in nitric oxide production by using polyamine as a substrate. There are also other factors that regulate nitric oxide synthesis in plants. Environmental factors, such as light, temperature, nutrient availability, and stress conditions, can modulate nitric oxide synthesis in plants. For instance, nitrate availability, light exposure, and pathogen attacks can influence the activity of nitrate reductase and nitrite reductase, impacting the rate of nitric oxide production. Let's talk about the spatial and temporal regulation of NO synthesis. Synthesis of nitric oxide in plants is tightly regulated both spatially and temporally, allowing for precise signaling in response to various developmental and environmental cues. Different cellular compartments may harbor distinct enzymatic or non-enzymatic pathways, and the levels of nitric oxide can vary depending on the specific cellular context. Let's talk about the reactions and interactions of nitric oxide in plants. Once synthesized, nitric oxide can interact with various molecules in plants, resulting in the generation of reactive nitrogen species and leading to a wide range of physiological responses. One of the significant interactions involves the formation of peroxynitrite, which results from the rapid reaction between nitric oxide and superoxide. Peroxynitrite is a potent oxidizing agent and can have both beneficial and detrimental effects on plant cells, depending on its concentration and localization. Nitric oxide can also react with various metals of metalloproteins, such as iron, Fe, and copper, Cu, or with amino acids such as cysteine, tyrosine, leading to the formation of nitrocell complexes. These are called nitrosylation and nitration. These complexes have been suggested to play a role in metal homeostasis and cellular signaling. Let's talk about functions of nitric oxide in plants now. Nitric oxide functions as a versatile signaling molecule in plants, mediating responses to various developmental and environmental cues. Some of its essential functions include as follows. Simon Taki et al. in 2015 have published this nice diagram showing numerous functions of nitric oxide in plants. Further, Sun et al. in 2021 also explained the synthesis of nitric oxide, how it activates other signaling cascades, and thus drive various functions in plants. There are many more articles on this topic. Here we are showing only a few. Nitric oxide is involved in the regulation of plant growth and development. Nitric oxide participates in numerous aspects of plant growth and development, including seed germination, root development, shoot elongation, and flowering. It acts as a secondary messenger in various signaling pathways, influencing gene expression and the activities of other signaling molecules. Nitric oxide is also involved in the defense against abiotic stress. Nitric oxide plays a crucial role in plants' responses to abiotic stressors, such as drought, salinity, and extreme temperatures. It helps in modulating antioxidant defense systems, maintaining cellular redox balance, and protecting plants against oxidative damage. Nitric oxide is involved during response to biotic stress as well. 
Nitric oxide is involved in the plant's defense against pathogens and pests. It can trigger the synthesis of defense-related compounds, such as phytoalexins and pathogenesis-related proteins, and enhance the activity of enzymes that detoxify harmful substances produced by pathogens. Nitric oxide participates in the regulation of stomatal movements. Nitric oxide influences stomatal movements, regulating gas exchange and water loss in plants. It modulates the activity of ion channels and pumps in guard cells, leading to changes in their turgor pressure and subsequent opening or closing of stomata. Nitric oxide is involved in the signal transduction too. Nitric oxide acts as a secondary messenger in various signal transduction pathways, allowing plants to integrate and respond to multiple external and internal signals effectively. Like this, there are numerous functions of nitric oxide in plants. However, some of the aspects have not fully discovered yet. In conclusion, nitric oxide synthesis, reactions, and functions in plants highlight its significant role as a signaling molecule with diverse and critical functions. Understanding the intricacies of nitric oxide-mediated signaling opens up exciting possibilities for harnessing its potential to improve plant growth, stress tolerance, and overall agricultural productivity in the face of ever-changing environmental challenges. These are some important articles if you need to refer more on plant nitric oxide production. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like us to watch more videos like this.